This is a familiar story. In the post-war era, post-World War II era, we faced uh, a slightly different set of challenges. As the global economy reemerged from the destructions of war, we knew that institutions and rules were needed to navigate through this new world order. And uh, because our parents and grandparents were wise and because they were committed, uh, we did what we've always done best. We exercised our global leadership. We were, driving, uh, we were a driving force behind the creation of the World Bank, the International Monetary Fund, as well as the uh, GATT, uh, as well as the World Trade Organization, the architecture uh, for the global economic system. Our companies and our financial institutions uh, from that period through uh, the mid-'80s and '90s uh, were also instrumental in establishing the standards for uh, corporate responsibility and transparency and governance. The all's changed, changed utterly. A terrible beauty has been born. All's changed. In the last decade, all's changed in terms of the globalization of the world economy, in terms of the rules of the road or the lack of the rules of the road, in terms of watching emerging nations trying to figure out where they fit and how we fit relative to them and so on. And so these institutions that uh, the affirmative task we have now is, uh, is to actually um, uh, create uh, uh, a new world order because the global order is changing again. And the institutions and rules that work so well in the post-World War II era for decades, uh, they need to be strengthened, and some have to be changed. So we have to do what we do best. We have to lead.